Okay. We're good. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Pink at Diamond Creek Farm again. Welcome back. Um, in our continuation of breeding demo day, we collected the stallions earlier this morning and now we're going to breed one of our mares on the farm who is ready today. Her name is Piranha Fury and she is going to be bred to Father Patrick. So when you're breeding these mares through artificial insemination, it's vital to make sure that you're actually breeding the correct mare to the correct stallion. So we have a couple of checkpoints um, along the way to ensure that the, we are breeding the correct mare. So if you remember before when I showed you the sticker for the semen um, syringe, we also put one on outside of the box um, so that we've got the correct box to go with the mare and it has the mare's tattoo number. So we always check their tattoo number to make sure that it is the correct horse. And I guess in a couple of years, we'll probably be checking microchips. So get your readers if you don't have one yet. Um, Piranha's tattoo number is 4N637. So we go over here and we just check this. 4N637, so I know I've got the correct mare. So now we're gonna walk her out of the stall. A couple different ways that you can position the mares to breed them. Oh, slipped on a little bit of lube right there. Um, we, we have the mares half in and half out of the stall and we shut the door a little bit on there. You could always put them in the stall with their head in the corner or a set of socks is also um, a good way to help restrain your mare while you're um, breeding the mare. We have our mares restrained with a chain over their nose um, and someone holding onto their head. Um, some mares, if they're a little flighty and a little unpredictable, we'll put them in the stocks to ensure the safety of everybody. So right now we're putting on a tail wrap um, to keep all the tail hair away from the vulva. And then we'll get ready to wash her. So here is different than the stallions. Stallions we just washed with water and cotton. Here I use ivory soap. Um, it's really gentle on the mares, and if we happen to drag a smidge of it in, um, it's not uh, detrimental to the sperm. So I'm just going to clean her up a little bit. First, I just do a little wipe to make sure to get some of the excess uh, debris off. And then here's our ivory soap. And now we're going to wash the vulva. So we want the mares to be clean just like we wanted the stallions to be clean because with artificial insemination I'm going to have to put my arm into her vagina, pass my finger through her cervix into her uterus and if her vulva and the exterior of the perineum is dirty, I'm going to drag all of that dirt and debris in with me and that could potentially cause her to get what we call an endometritis and that's just an infection in um, her uterus. And if that's the case, then be real hard pressed for her to get pregnant if her uterus is infected. So we don't want that. So interesting tidbit about horses, they're I think one of the only mammals where when you breed them, it's actually an intrauterine insemination. Most um, mammals just, when they breed, the insemination is into the vaginal vault, but horses are into the uterus. So that could be your next trivia game if you've got one. Trivia night planned, you know, via Zoom or something like that these days. And so now I'm just rinsing her off. One of the things that I look for when I am washing mares is I look around their clitoral fossa. Um, they can get beans in their clitoral fossa and that's just a nidus for infection. So again, we're trying to look for different ways to decrease our risk of infection on mares. So now I'm just gonna pat dry her. All right, so now we're gonna open the box. Now, most of you, when you guys get semen boxes, you have a um, styrofoam container in a cardboard box. Because we're breeding her on the farm, we didn't put it in a cardboard box. We just left it in the styrofoam, which is perfectly fine.
So I pull out her syringe. And again, I want to make sure that it says Father Patrick, Piranha Fury, today's date, and then her tattoo number. Because sometimes syringes get shipped in, or even here today we bred two mares, um, they get sent in the same box. So you want to make sure that you are getting the correct stallion semen to put in the correct mare. So now I'm going to open up a sterile sleeve. I don't want it to touch anything. And then I'll take my sterile lube here. And then I always drop a piece out onto the ground first. And then just put a little lube on my hand. I grab the syringe. So my last checkpoint is all of our mares here at Diamond Creek have numbers associated with their name. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double check that her number on her halter tag is the number of the mare. So it's our last step to make sure that she is in fact who we say she is and is being bred to the correct stallion. So Father Patrick Priyana Fury 51. Yep. And Abby at the front tells me 51 is the correct tag number. So here we go. So a little lube on the outside of her vulva. I'm going to very gently go into her vagina. I'm going to feel for her cervix. I'm going to pass one finger through her cervix and I'm going to slide the pipette down my finger and as you can see it goes pretty far in there. So now I know I'm in the uterus and then I'm going to plunge the syringe. And then I'm going to come out, get a little bit of air because I want to push what's left in the contents of the pipette still into the uterus. And which I just done. And now what I'll do is I'll pull the pipette back out into her vagina, cover it with my hand, and then gently come out. And there you go. We just bred Priyana Fury, and we'll see you in about two weeks for a pregnancy check.